Hey everyone, back again with some more Precure fan art. This time I'm doing Cure Yum Yum. And so starting out, just doing some basic elements where get her design down, where's the skirt gonna go, where's her hair, get that all planned out. I have, of course, an underlying sketch. I started out doing pencils, and then I scanned that image, and then worked on that as the base. And so going over that with a better reference image to get everything where it should be. So every year I do um, some Precure fan art. Um, whenever the leaks come out, or if it's just the official art that comes out, pick whoever's my favorite, and I draw fan art of them. I've been doing this since Happiness Charge. I don't know, it's just, it's been going every year now, so I just keep doing it. Last year I had Cure Summer as my favorite, and so I have that speed paint on her. And this year we're doing Cure Yum Yum. And so I think overall Delicious Party Precure, pretty good designs, uh, sort of typical Precure. No one looks horrible. But definitely not, uh, nobody's my fave yet. I'm not going crazy for any of them. We'll see if we get mid-season care. It looks really crazy. Really good design. Or at least what I think is a really good design. But I uh, really like this year. They have a good balance between uh, sort of having individual elements, but also looking like a team, which is always good. Always a fan of get striking that balance there. So Cure Yum Yum is my favorite because she's got those really curly like ribbon of hair that I think is always very fun sort of like cure lemonade um big fan of that I also kind of looks like little ramen noodles because you've got a little noodle shop theme so I think that's cute also like the sort of Chinese elements to her design how she's got like the collar and the sleeves we got a little bit of like yellow lining I guess sort of gold-esque lining and then she's got the front with the buttons um and the little center on the shirt and then also she got that little uh, slip between the, I guess, like the overskirt layer and the underskirt layer. And so some fun elements. You don't see them a ton in Precure. So always a fan. I, I just love her little collar. I think it's very cute. And so this year we didn't get like leaks super early. It was, um, I guess there was the coloring book that those images that came out, but um, wasn't sure if they were going to be fake designs or real designs. So actually waited to start until we got the actual um, official announcement art. Uh, usually I'll start if we have something that's like uh, there's pretty good evidence where we know this is going to be the real designs and then I'll start doing my fan art. I like having the um, color leaks as well. Really helpful because then you get a color of the thing. You don't have to do just black and white. You should have to wait until we get the color out. Cause it takes me a little while to get my, my art together. But with this, um, I did smaller pupils than I usually do, and I was kind of, uh, I love the Cure Yum Yum, and I feel like, I see also probably because she's a yellow cure, but she sort of got that little sister energy, and so I went with the more rounded face and the smaller eyes, um, so less, less decoration to put inside those pupils since they're, well, I guess the irises, because they're not as big, but I think they're really cute and they work well with her design. I also really love their huge ribbons. I, like, I made the ribbons bigger than they actually are in this fan art because I think they're really fun. I know that they have these huge giant ribbons behind them. I think it's gonna look really funny when they're like the camera's behind them because you're gonna have so much ribbon in the way, but they're great. They're wonderful. It's such a fun little design element that they all three have these huge ribbons going on. With this, um, that little, like, what she's holding, I think, I don't know if it's like their weapon or like a transformation item, but to me, it kind of looks like, um, like a little champagne fluid almost. And the, cause there's like a couple different forms. It kind of looks like there's one where it's like a gun and one where it's like a teapot, but this kind of looks like um, a little champagne flute. And so I've got her in a pose where she's like toasting, she's a little, little cheers going on. And so I think that's a fun little pose. With her pose, I did, um, I wanted to have something where it could be very horizontal, um, but also be full body. Well, like, it's not super horizontal, but I also wanted it to be full body, and so you don't have it be, like, huge vertical, because it's just her standing. Um, and so I went with this pose, where she got her knees bent, so we can kind of fit more of that design in. Though, I realized while I was doing this that it looks a lot like what I did last year, because I had the same sort of idea where I wanted to do a full body picture but not have it be hugely long. So, I, I got one pose in me. It's fine, I can do two years that look the same. Whatever. With her design also, um, 
when the leaks came out, I guess not leaks, but the, when the official art came out, uh, there wasn't really any reference when I was working on this for what her, like, shoes super look like from the back. Um, also, like, just what she looks like from the side, we didn't have a ton of that. And so, I had to make up a couple elements there. With her heels, I just sort of copied what, um, Cure Spicy and Cure Precious have. Um, because they got, like, sort of a simple heel going on, and so I went with that. Uh, so if that's not what it looks like, with later art, whatever. I made it up, that's what we had at the time. That's the fun of doing the leak fan art. You don't get all the elements. You're gonna make up a couple things. Riff on the design. Also gave her these big, um, chunky brows, but you don't really see them because, uh, personally, I'm not a big fan of when, uh, like, the brows go over top of the bangs. I want them in the right order. If the hair is over top, you're not gonna see those brows. And so, they're, they're there in spirit. Just know <laughs> they're underneath all that. Here we're working on that line art, getting everything done, looking nice, always fun. I work with a lot of different colors when I'm like sketching things out because I like to add like a come back to another layer, having different colors so I can see what's going on. It takes me a couple layers to get everything together how I want. But looks okay in the end in my opinion, so working fine. The one thing I don't like with her design is this little apron bit here, uh, and mostly it's because of the color. Uh, like with Cure Precious and Cure Spicy, they have their ribbons, they sort of match their two colors, there's like a pink and blue, but with Yum Yum it's like a purple and then like a blue, and they don't really match like the rest of her colors designs, there's not like no other elements that look like that, and it's just weird to me, I'm like, why doesn't she match the other two? My theory, maybe we'll get a purple fourth cure and they'll have little matching aprons too. Otherwise, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what you're doing here. <laughs> That's my, my one complaint. Because um, I really like uh, her colors. I think there's it's good where we got like the yellow, we got the green, we got the orange, we got some red. Some good variety, but they're not, um, they're all sorted together in the same family. It's not too crazy. And the elements are repeated uh, enough that it looks normal, except for that little little bit of purple. It's very weird. Um, then also, like um, on her head, she's got like that little hat thing. Kind of looks like an Easter egg that I'm gonna come back later to to have to color in. And that, like the colors, also are a little a little weird over there. But these are these are my hot takes on Kira Yum Yum's design. These little fun little curls are always, they're just so fun. I think it was, uh, Lakin Kasane Teto and being into Utau that got me in sort of that, uh, the drill hair. But I guess with her it's more of a, more of a ribbon. Because we've got big circles, big loops, not a lot of hair doing it. So now I'm basically finished up with that and I can get on to filling in all those colors. And so I've learned in Fire Alpaca how to have a little reference image up, which is very helpful, getting all the colors for things. I decided to do a couple elements without um, black outlines, like on her, like the middle of her dress, I guess. Um, have those stripes not be with black outlines, because I feel it's a little harsher to have the black outlines there. I guess I could have done some colored outlines, but I wanted it to be just color, color, color. Sort of like it's up, like a piece of fabric that's like printed with that. And here's where I realized that I started coloring in on a layer that had line art. And so then I had to cut everything out with the lasso tool and then use transparent fills to get the color out and then put the line art back together. Um, a fun problem to fix, but gladly I caught it before I went too far. With the shading, I have some trouble, you'll see as I go through with figuring out how I wanted the shading to look. Um, definitely with the legs and how they were posed. Wasn't sure how I wanted to have it, but in the end, I figure out what's going on. And then here in the back, it says Kanpai, because I wanted it to be sort of like she's cheersing. We have a little, little toast going on, but then in the, in the end, you'll see that I don't end up keeping the text because uh, it just doesn't work out too well. But I do try a lot, go back, write some different colors, different layers, so it's a struggle. I didn't have men men in this picture, 
Um, though I do think he is adorable. I love that he's just like a little noodle dragon. I, it's great, 10 out of 10, <laughs> great character design. Um, but I didn't end up drawing him because I wasn't really sure what to do with him. I think it's super funny how they have like, um, they have their little mascots and they also like they transform and then they have like a little food form. It's just, it's so funny to me. I also love, like, they got a little bread dog, <laughs> little, little noodle dragon, this soup bowl. I don't know, it's it's very funny to me. And here I was having some trouble figuring out where I wanted the shading to be, and so I ended up like completely redoing, doing a new shading layer, not liking it, trying to do um, less of a um, harsh color, I guess, for the shading, do something closer to her uh, skin tone. Didn't like that either. I try and do some different brushes here to try and make it more of a, a gradual transition between the two. Didn't like that look out. The whole that look either. Um, and eventually, I just sort of figured out that it's okay. We'll go with a darker color, and then let's add another shaded color because a lot of her her front leg that's closest, I guess, to the camera here is going to be um, mostly in shadow. But I thought, hey, that's, that looks really flat. And so I added the second shading color. I, I try to keep limited if I go too many too many colors of shading in, like the cell shading style. Because you get to a certain point and it's like, right, what am I doing? Why don't I just do like something with more like a watercolor-esque brush or do something more painting style? So, had that limitation. But overall, I think I figured out after a while, I go back to those legs a lot trying to change the shading until I figure out how I want it to be. But, it's just a work in progress, keep going, do other things, come back, look at it, lots of things that I can draw in the meantime. One of the cons, I guess, of this pose is that you don't get to see, like, the, the fun little uh, slit in, like, the dress part to the underskirt, because I do think that's very cute. I like the little heart there, but just with the way I had her angled, didn't really work. Cause I wanted her to have her uh, her right hand up like she's toasting. Uh, cause I'm just assuming that she's right-handed. <laughs> but got her right hand up like she's toasting. And so I didn't want that to be over top of her face. So I had to put that in the back. And then we got that weird little hat. What's going on? Colors don't super match. I don't know. Is it supposed to be like a little bowl? I'm not sure. Someone explain to me what this hat is. I also like those little like covers. I don't know if are they supposed to be bun covers? Is there hair underneath, or is it just um, just a hair decoration? Does she have only a little tiny bit of hair with those ribbons? <laughs> I assume she's got her hair all pulled up over in their little bun covers. I do think it's fun how it kind of like one. I think it's interesting that like all the the leads they have like their family are all owning restaurants, and so they all sort of have the same background in that sort of aspect. Um, but I like they all have like a little different cuisine, I guess. So I think that'll be fun. She's got got like the ramen. We got more of like the high cuisine with Cure Spicy. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what goes on there. Also, just a uh, Kira Kira Pre Cure crossover when <laughs> they're both the cooking ones. Come on, Toei. You know what the people want. <laughs> it makes sense. Do it. I do think it's fun that they have two cooking themes, and then we have this one where it's a much broader theme of cooking. So with that, I sort of finished up um, everything I wanted to do on her body, so I started doing the background. I had a lot of different things that I could do here. Uh, I first started out trying some like a noodle look, and then I started looking at uh, doing ramen uh, toppings, but then I realized I didn't want to draw a million different ramen toppings. So then I just sort of focused on the Naruto Maki, having that has a little cute pattern, and so did a lot with that. I wanted to have the Naruto Maki, um, at least <laughs> for me, it's what I think about when I think about ramen. But I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to do it. The other thing with her design, having so many colors like she does, is there's so many things you can riff off and have look uh, like match with her. And so I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the background color. And so I started working around, warping this sort of little bit of a little Narutomaki moving him around. But then my real problem with this is um, 
just with how she was posed, it didn't really show off the like pink spiral. And so it just comes off more of like a big flower eraser kind of thing. Um, I try around a lot trying to get it so that like, you could see the pink, um, try and do some things there, but it just didn't work out in the end. Try and add some shadow, eh, didn't work. Still, would have been an interesting sort of thing. Um, cause she does have that pose where it's like she's leaning up against something. She's kind of falling. So it's fun. Like a little, little giant fish cake she's bouncing off of. <laughs> and here I duplicate everything and then just do a, a layer over top clipping to get her shadow to be like a perfect duplicate of her. But man, it just didn't work out. And I end up going back to just doing um, sort of a tiled pattern. But yeah, what do you guys think? Who's your favorite um, so far with Delicious Party? I guess no one's it's not come out yet, so people don't really have an idea of the characters. But I don't know. It's all about the character designs for me. A big fan. Love seeing what they come up with every year. So I just nestled in all these little fish cakes in the background. And then I'm going to um, take the background and make it brown. Because I wanted it to look sort of like a show you ramen broth have it be that brown color and then I end up putting a, a little extra uh, put some noodles over top and this is where I realized that I really don't have anywhere that I can put kanpai because it's just it's not working out <laughs> I try a lot but it just doesn't work I try and write out cure yum yum that also doesn't work and also <laughs> it's, it's so bad my handwriting that a oh <laughs> but overall just decide to go with some fun uh, ramen themed ingredients. So we got uh, more of a pastel color palette kind of for the background. But again, so many things look good with her. She's got that nice, nice colors. Always a fan of orange and green. Oh, love those two together. And so with that, I'm finishing up here. Adding all those last noodles, trying to keep it with like, the momentum of her fallen. And very soon after I get those into a lighter color to match the rest of the palette, it's gonna be almost done here. So, what did you think? Who's your favorite? You like your yum yum? I think she's adorable. Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. <laughs>